We want to introduce you to a local doctor who's interested in historical homes, and she found an awesome one in Anchorage, Kentucky. Little did she know when she moved in, though, she'd be taking on the same role as the original homeowner more than a century ago. When everyone's home and all roads lead to nowhere, everything seems to sit still besides the birds and the afternoon train. A city rich with character, deeply rooted with history. And then there's the Winston House, nestled along Ridge Road in Anchorage, Kentucky, where history seems to be repeating itself. Okay, so how long has that been going on? For the last couple of weeks, pediatrician Dr. Heather Felton has worked remotely, seeing her patients through telehealth. Any fevers or other symptoms like congestion or cough? It's her new normal, like so many doctors who've had to work around the self-quarantines and isolation, but not so new for the century old home she's lived in the last five years. I do have some old pictures and like the original blueprints from the house. There are these old books that mention it or mention like the previous owners um, that men mentioned Dr. Winston. Um, and his wife because they did a lot of other things around the community like he was a volunteer firefighter at the um, Anchorage Fire Department. Um, his wife played organ at the church that's just down the street. Records show Dr. Joseph Winston hired a well-known Louisville architect to build a home with a very short commute to work. The house is built so like kind of the front of the house is, is the residence part but then if you come in through the side door he had his name plate on the side and that's where patients would enter and then it's a very short little hallway and then the the room off of that hallway was his office. The very room Dr. Felton now calls her office when her kids aren't using it as a playroom. She hadn't thought about the irony until her husband mentioned it a few days in. To me, he's like, do you realize that it's been about 100 years and we're seeing patients out of Winston House again? And I was like, oh, you're right, I didn't even think about it. He would never have been able to imagine that I was be sitting here seeing patients on my laptop. You know? <laughs> but a legacy left by one doctor, carried on by another. Something that you would never have envisioned happening again. Um, but it's something that, that you can take out of all of this and say, you know what, it, it wasn't all bad. There are, there are a couple of like little positive things that you can kind of hold on to. In Anchorage, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News.